Hey there everyone, my name is Prakash Mithani and welcome back to Learn and Tech. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about some custom solution in SharePoint Designer. Alright, so the requirement here is, this is my document library with the name of document and what I want that whenever I upload a particular document here in this document library, an email notification should be sent to a particular group or an individual. So that's very easy creating in SharePoint Designer. But let's assume what I want is I create two folder in this particular document library and I want a separate email notifications for both these folders. And in fact, whenever I upload item to those particular folders, then only an email notification should be sent. Otherwise, there should not be any email notification sent to a particular user or a group. So let's talk about that, how we can create this custom solution. So for that purpose, first of all, I'm going to create two folder here. So I'll go in my new and I'll create a product folder here and I'll create another folder with the name of services. All right. So once both the folder has been created, now what I need to do is I need to create a custom column by which I'll be creating a workflow. So I'm going to create a column that will be our <coughs> choice menu. Sorry. I'll be creating a choice menu and the name of column will be content and the choice will be like product and services. Default value will be nothing and that's all right. So now I've created a column content here, which you can see here. Now what I need to do is, I'll go in my library setting. There I have column default value setting. I'll go in this particular setting. Now you can see here I have one column which I've created content. And now see, I have to click on this particular product section. All right. And I need to set the default value for this particular product column. So use this default value and I'm gonna set it product. All right, so that means whenever I'm uploading a document to a product folder, the default value of this content column will be product otherwise it will remain blank and when I'm going to services click on services first and then click on this content and set a default value here is services all right so now you can see for product folder i have a default value product for services i have default value services so let's go back to our document library all right and now try to upload a document outside this folder i'll just drag and drop one uh, okay let me just go here and copy the structure I'll upload a document here so now you can see on the content column there is no value because I'm uploading document outside these folder and now let me go inside the product folder when I upload a new document here
we'll see that the default value will change here. And now you can see the default value of the content is product. And where I'm going to a services section, the default value will also change to services. Now you can see that it's services. So that means we are in the right direction. So we are done with our document library here. And now just go to your SharePoint designer, go to workflow, click on this drop down of list workflow. I have a document library with the name of documents. Click on this. And I'm gonna put this document workflow click on ok once our workflow is created here so what I want I'm gonna put some condition here first if select this if any value is equal to in the value section in the function if the current item what is our current item is with the the name of our column okay because we have created a column content is equal to product all right we are setting up this particular product if it is equal to product then send an email send an email to either an individual one or either to a specific SharePoint group. So I've already created SharePoint group. If you haven't checked my previous video, you can check out there. You will understand what I'm talking about. I have already a SharePoint group and I think I have with the name of data. That is data group. I have already created an email will be sent to these people. Hi. Uh, a new item has been added to product section all right thanks this is it and just close your workflow go to and of workflow and I want this workflow to run when a new item is created only all right and now just click on publish once my uh, workflow is published we'll upload a document in our document library and then we'll see that how it's going on so now my workflow is published I'm gonna go in my document library just want to refresh Let's go in our product section here. And you can see that document workflow is already there. So when we'll upload a document, it will show the progress of our workflow. Just upload a document here. Oh, I'm sorry, the document is already uploaded there. I'm gonna upload a different document here. So there is my new document has been uploaded and the workflow hasn't been started yet. We'll see that once it is started and we'll see if I'm getting an email notification or not. All right. So yes, it is in stage one. So let me just go to my outlook there. And we'll see if I'm getting an email or not. Hi, a new item has been added to product section. Thanks. The message we created here is exactly what we are getting there. All right. So these are the kind of email notification you can create for specific folder in your document library or in your list. So uh, that's there. And if you want to uh, kind of create the same things for your uh, the services folder you can also create a workflow for that particular one by selecting those conditions which I've done in my previous workflow 
so uh, you can pretty much do it for uh, as many as folder you want i hope uh, that was helpful for you and if you really like this particular video don't forget to subscribe my channel and keep supporting learn and tech thank you so much